Hello, this is Benjamin. I am following up on a video I posted the other day where I stated that drizzling at 1x is going to be fine for my images because drizzling is not increasing the resolution. Oh, it's increasing the resolution. It's not creating. It's not increasing the detail of my photos. And I've been doing research on that because I just wasn't sure. And I've come up with some new information that I wanted to share that I think drizzling is important and I think I'm going to be drizzling because here you can see on this page this is by RC Astro this is the maker of blur exterminator so he's a well-respected community member he put up this this page at some point I just found it yesterday or I was found it yesterday modulation transfer function and image sampling analyzer which is a very scary title for if you don't know a whole lot like I don't about math and and how it relates to pixel math and all of that optics engineer type of stuff so but it's easy enough my focal length of my main telescope my refractor is 500 405 millimeters the focal ratio is 5.4 it's a 75 millimeter scope so that all adds up seeing I leave to default wavelength I leave to default pixel size of my 294 is of my ASI 294 MC Pro is 4.63 and the sensor size is 4144 by 2822 pixels. And given that, it shows that here my, my total FWHM is in the red at 1.07. Um, and red is undersampled, drizzle or undersampled, therefore drizzle or reduce pixel size. I can reduce pixel size by buying a new camera, which I'm not going to do, or I can drizzle according to this. And you see the graph over here, there's a lot of red. In this area and this is no drizzle setup so if I drizzle 2x it's still red but it's it's much better drizzle 3x and it gets into the normal category orange is also bad that's that's oversampled so I'm not not orange I'm yellow at this point so I should according to this I should be drizzling my my refractor images my aperture 75q images by 3x not 1x, not no, but 3x, or so scale of 3. And we'll get back to that. I've, I've, I pulled up some images and drizzled them 3x and, and took a look at them, and I'll give you some opinions in, in PixInsight in a minute. My other setup is on this other tab. This is the Rokinon 135mm f2 lens with the same camera. So now we've got a focal length of 135, focal ratio 2, giving it a an aperture of about 68 millimeters or 2.68 inches that feels about right so set up with the same seeing same wavelength same pixel size because it's the same camera and the same sensor size because it's my camera no drizzling it shows I'm severely undersampling which I knew I know I'm undersampling I have no no doubt about that because my stars are very blocky so I, I know that and it shows 2x drizzle I'm still in the red 3x drizzle, I'm oops, 3x drizzle, I'm still in the red. So I tried a 4x drizzle. Why not? That's as high as pixel insight goes, is 4x. So apparently I, I need to be drizzling by like 4x or more to get rid of the undersampling in all with my Rokinon lens and this and my 294 camera. So that's a nice calculator. I assume it's all accurate. I mean, like I said, RC Astro is the maker of Blur Exterminator, so he knows he knows math. <laughs> I'll give him that, and I trust that this calculator is true. Um, I trust that this calculator is true. So, first, let's let's take a look at the oops, the two nine. I'm sorry, the the ap the aperture seventy five Q. So these images are all scaled to the same size. Except for the 2x, which, if you know me, you know I don't like abnormalities. And the 2x always seems to be a little bit zoomed in more. And I'm not sure why that is. There's something something with the, uh, the 2x integration that makes it not the same scale as the others. I'm not sure what it is. But I, I, re, I even restacked it and did, did all the edits again. And it was still just slightly bigger. You can see less of the image fits in. But anyway, here or there, that is not important it just bugs me and I don't know why it's doing that so you can see that at the same at the same image size on the screen 
This is no drizzle. This is 1x drizzle. This is 2x drizzle. This is 3x drizzle. So this is obviously because it's a small image. This is 3 to this is 3x or 300%. 300%, 200%, 100%. So that makes, of course, sense because the images are, are getting more resolution as they're being drizzled. Now, when, oops, when I look at these images, which one looks the best? Ignoring the pixelated stars, when I look at the actual detail, the 3x looks the best to my eyes. It's got the sharpest resolution. Of the, of the of the clouds it's got the most contrast it's got the most definition it's hands down better in my view and it goes up no drizzle looks the worst 1x looks a little bit better 2x looks pretty good 3x looks the best and that's what the calculator tells me it should be the situation the stars however um, they just look so much better in the 3x if I take them all, if I take them all to one x, you know, one hundred percent, the stars look tiny and kind of squarish in the non-drizzled one, which is what you expect because I am undersampled. And as you go up, they look just better and better and better until you get to the three x, where they're just round and nice looking, whereas they look just artificial and spiky and square with the non-drizzled image. The only downside of this is the three, the three X drizzled image is massive. It's 105 megapixels off of my 12 megapixel camera. Um, I'm not going to get into how drizzling works. You can look up that a second video, a separate video, but just know that it it actually creates information. It's not just interpolating inter. I think that's how you say it, interpolating um, the data. It's actually using the the dither to create, to fill in gaps of information. And that's as far as I'm going to say, but I'm just saying the 3X looks the best in my eyes, and it's worth that extra bit, I think is worth the extra time it takes to edit the image, because the image is huge, and even on my nice computer, it takes a long time to do everything, because it's just massive. It's something like, um, it's not something like, oh, actually, I, I, don't, I, I cropped it, so never mind. It's something like 12,000 pixels by 8,000 pixels. It's ridiculously large, 108, 105 megapixels. So now next we look at the Rokinon. No drizzle is, is here. One X is here. Two X is here. Three X is here. Four X is here. And I end up seeing the exact same thing. So these are all just fit to the screen. And honestly, I can't tell too much difference at this scale. But let's zoom in. There's 3x on the on the on this 3x, 2x, 101. All right. So now there's there's zoomed in. And again. Stars are pixelated versus stars just look gorgeous because they're spread over so many extra pixels. They're just so much rounder and, and, and natural looking. And also, I don't know if you can see and tell, but the nebula looks crisper and there's more detail to it. And even if I do one to one to one to one, that didn't make sense. One to one on the clone, on the dither one to the one, one to one on those dither four. It just looks so much more in depth. There's just so much more. There's just so much more that I don't know if I'm going to dither four because that is a massive, massive file. But I can see dithering three at least on my Rokinon. Um, other thing I've noticed is that on dither two, I get no artifacts. On a dither four. With the same number of files, I get artifacts. So, whereas PixInsight gives you a warning if you don't have 15 images to dither, I mean to drizzle, to 4x drizzle, you need more than 15 images. That is for sure, because I get all kinds of artifacts. So, how many do I need? I don't know. I'll find out. But 
just just a note, side note, you need more than 15 images to drizzle at 4x to get to know artifacts. So you can see the artifacts here in the corner. That's not a that's not a stacking artifact, that's a drizzle artifact. Is that green? They're kind of all over the place. But the it just looks so much better. So I said I wasn't going to drizzle any more than 1x. I didn't need to and I looked at real world results and looked at the calculator and read some more and I'm convinced that drizzling is good and I'm going to be drizzling. So take from that what you will. I'll put the link to the calculator down below in the description and do your own research. But for me, even if it's just in my head and I don't think it is, even if it's just in my head, I feel better with the bigger pictures, the drizzled pictures. I think they look better. Even when, you know, even when zoomed out, I think they look better. So, for me, I'm going to take out the extra time to, to process, and I'm just going to deal with it. So, thank you very much for joining me. I'd love to see your comments down below, and I'm going to drizzle. I'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.